Alright guys, so I just made my first stop of the day, Route 477, the Suzuka Skyline. It's kind of wet today, I just got pissed on. So just as soon as I left Aichi Prefecture and went to Mie, the heavens opened. And as I stopped here, here at Suzuka, um, I saw a monkey, which hopefully is the first of many today because it's that, that season where they start roaming around and getting jiggy and stuff like that. So. Yeah, over there is uh, Mie Prefecture in the background, so let's go and hit Suzuka Skyline and then go and try and find Sonic. Alright, so the road conditions are not exactly perfect today. It's, uh, I kind of underestimated what the weather difference would be like from state to state. So we're in Shiga Prefecture now, which is quite mountainous and yeah, it's bloody freezing. When I left the house this morning, it was like 16 degrees, pretty warm. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt, a hoodie, and my summer jacket. But what I really should be wearing is my winter clothes, and my winter gloves, because I can't even feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> so anyway, so as I said, the conditions are not exactly perfect today. You know, the roads are a bit greasy and slippery, and there's lots of fallen leaves and whatnot. But I think we can still have fun on the old girl today. And basically, the mission is going to find Sonic. So. Let's take it nice and easy. Not my bike, is it? So I don't want to abuse it too much. And in the meantime, we can take in the lovely Japanese autumnal sights. Like all these wonderful red trees. I don't know what they are. Is it a sakura? No, I don't know it is. Anyway, let's uh, battle on on this road. We've got about another hour to go on this and then hopefully we'll be in the right area to find Sonic, if we can find him. He's a bit elusive, his old Sonic. All right, so I just stopped at this convenience store and asked the people in there if they know. And the lady looked at me like I was an idiot when I said, hey, where's Sonic the Hedgehog? She's like, what? Anyway, she sort of had a clue. Look at this. So she sort of had a clue, she gave me um, a name of a village where she thinks it is, but she said it's pretty far away, but if I go there I might be able to find it. So I put the name of that place into my navigation, it's like 33 kilometres away, and his phone holder is a quad lock, so mine doesn't fit, but luckily, good old Suzuki, the tank is metal, so my phone holder has got a magnet on it, so I'm going to risk it and use the navigation via a magnet on the tank so let's just hope it doesn't fall off so they go right here and then I guess we've got like a bit more of a, a longer journey than expected but yeah hopefully we're, we're on the right track now I think it might actually be funny to uh, just go and stop random people and ask them and just give them no context so hey where's Sonic or where's the hedgehog and just see what they try and film their reactions it could be funny あのね、この辺にあのソニックしてるソニックこれは見たことあるこれなんかこの辺にあるだってそうなんですか知らんすいませんあのさこれ見たことあるこの辺あるあどこにあるずっと探してるけど<笑> So I'll try and interact with some of the locals in a little while, but for now I'll head over to that village. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Need any spare parts anymore? Okay. What's going on here? My lights go straight? This is bizarre. Oh, old lady like that. What the fuck am I doing? Am I not supposed to be doing this or something? Nah, am I supposed to be going up this road? I think I might have just driven the wrong way down the street. Uh, right, come on Sonic, where the hell are you? See my there? Do I not say there? Come on there! Look on the other! Oh, hold on. Look at the other. 
右側あー了解、ありがとうございますあー、はい了解ありがとう<笑>So I almost missed him. There we go! Yeah, boys and girls, we found Sonic after all that fucking effort. Sonic, my old darling! What are you doing on a surfboard in the middle of nowhere? What are you up to? What are you up to, mate? Alright, found you, Sonic. So. Time to do the old Instagram picture, isn't it? Right, so if, any, if anybody is watching this who lives in Japan and wants to find this, I will put some proper directions in the video description because this was a bust to find. But anyway, we found you now, Sonic. Right, Instagram time. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've uh, just got onto the ring road, the, the Nagoya City Ring Road, which is a highway that's kind of expensive and annoying, but it's the fastest way to get home. Alright guys, so that was a longer day than I expected. It's uh, now coming up to 5.30 and it's already dark as you can see, the winter or the autumn is definitely here in Japan and I'm absolutely freezing. I, I think I lost food in my fingers like hours ago so I am absolutely desperate to get home and warm up. But anyway yeah I had a fun day today looking for Sonic. Found him in the end for that elusive bugger that he is. And um, yeah so I, as I said I will put the uh, directions on how to get there in the description just in case anyone from Japan is watching. So anyway, big thank you to Adam for lending me his GSX GSXS 1000. I absolutely love this bike. I've borrowed this probably two or three times now, and I just just today I started to feel really connected to the bike. 
it's a real 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 good bike I'm so surprised at how how good the chassis is and how good the engine is you know, I've always been one of these knobheads that moans that like, uh, you don't need a thousand cc four on the road it's overkill but this engine and this chassis is just like the perfect match I just I just wish it had a, a quick shifter and I wish the throttle response is a bit nicer it's a bit too snatchy but I mean it is a great bike so thank you Adam me old darling and to all my YouTube viewers out there make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and be so kind as to share my video I would be greatly appreciated and I will see you in the next video goodbye for now